Hey guys, today I've got an arms and abs workout for you. You need dumbbells for this workout, preferably some heavier dumbbells, right? So we can really get pumped today. Don't be lame, Caitlin. Okay, um, grab your dumbbells, some water, an exercise mat, and let's do this. the entire upper body nice and warm so rolling back and down really exaggerate that movement so shrugging the shoulders up and then sliding those shoulder blades down into your back pocket I want you to be sure that you're not arching that back here that you are staying in that neutral spine abs engaged pelvis tucked so we can support the spine and lift some weights today go ahead and reverse those uh, shoulder rolls so now we're going forward but with every roll, you're still setting them back and down. Good, go ahead and bring those arms out to the side. We're gonna make little baby circles forward. Oh dear, is it a mosquito already? It's early and it's kind of cold in here. I'm not expecting mos uh, mosquitoes. Okay, we're going forward. Are we paying attention, Caitlin? Are you paying attention to what you're doing? <laughs> All right, go ahead and reverse that circle. We're going backwards now. You should get a little shoulder burn now, especially if did a bunch of planks yesterday like I did. There are no planks in today's workout. We do have a set of push-ups, but that's it for planks. All right, go ahead and flip the palms upward and we're gonna go forward again. We're just getting those shoulders warm, upper body warm. We're going forward. Yeah, hello shoulders. Now go ahead and reverse that circle. Palms are up. Beautiful, oh, okay. Yeah, I feel it. Good, now we're here, go ahead and swing those arms. Shake it out. Get loose. So we wanna get that chest warm here, that upper back warm and active. So I'm actively pulling with my upper back, then I'm using my chest to squeeze forward here. Get weird with me. Be aware of the muscles you're using, right? Start thinking about them, activating. You can make anything an exercise if you just think about the muscles used. Okay, shake it out. Wow, okay, I'm going to, excuse me, spider. We're going to, it's Halloween, guys. It's so close to Halloween. We're gonna roll it down vertebrae by vertebrae and walk it out to plank and then walk it right back up. Roll it up all the way up, shoulders back and down again, roll it down, walk it out. Nice tall plank and right back up. Roll it up, we got two more of those. Roll down, walk it out and back up. Our format today, you guys, is 40 seconds on and 20 seconds rest. So we've got plenty of rest. That means we can lift some weight today. We can challenge ourselves. So we have two um, upper body moves. Actually, we're gonna do like giant set today. So we have like um, a bicep move, followed by another bicep move, followed by a core, back to biceps, biceps, and then another core. Good news, there's no repeat exercises. Guys, so grab those dumbbells, water, and let's go. All right guys, we're starting with uh, just a regular bicep curl. So grab the weight you're gonna use for that. I'm gonna use 13 pounds and the palms will face outward and we will squeeze the glutes, tuck the pelvis, engage the abs and in 10 seconds, we just curl them on up there. These feel heavier than 13 pounds right now. We go in three, two, one, here we go. So this timer is loose today, guys. So don't worry about starting exactly on time or finishing exactly during that time. Just do what you can. If you wanna count reps, you can count reps. Aim for between eight and 12, depending on what your goals are. If you're looking to kind of build some muscle, stick with that like eight rep range, eight to 10. And then if we're just looking to build some endurance and some strength, you can go 10 to 12. Just challenge yourself. Eight seconds, guys. Biceps on fire. Three, two, one. 
Good. Set the weights down for just a sec. We're going to move into a lateral curl, which means we're going to curl with the palms facing outward. So we opening up that chest. I'm going to drop my weight just a little, switching to like nine pounds. Rotate the shoulders outward, tuck the pelvis, engage the abs, and we curl here. So we're hitting those biceps again, just from a different angle. There's a mosquito flying around right there. Can you guys see it? It's like hogging the camera. It likes it. It wants to be a star. Halfway, my friends. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get that mosquito. 15. There it is. 10. Five. As soon as it notices that I'm here, it'll come bite me. Two. And rest. Cool. Give your arms a rest for a second. We're going to come all the way down um, onto the ground and do some ab work. We're going to start with a dead bug. So I'm going to come onto my back. Everything is up. And then the opposite arm and opposite leg will drop in opposite directions. Here we go. And up. Make sure that lower back stays on the mat. You've got that belly button pulled in. I have the worst hairstyle for this exercise. I either need my ponytail to be lower or higher. Again, guys, lower back is on the mat. If your lower back starts to lift, just don't drop that leg as low. Make sure you're breathing, no holding your breath. I can't see the timer, but I'm assuming we've got good news. Okay, nice and slow, come up. We're gonna do a cheat curl. So we can go heavier with the weight, which means we're gonna cheat the weight up there and we're gonna slowly lower it down. Literally fling the dumbbells up and then slowly lower them down. And two, here we go. Cheat them up, slowly down again cheat slowly down take at least three counts to lower these weights don't forget to breathe this is an exercise where people can hold their breath and things can get nasty we can uh, start passing out so breathe 15 seconds 10 Oh my gosh, five, three, two, rest. All right, rest for a sec. And then we're gonna switch it to a hammer curl. So my palms are gonna face each other and we curl it up right here. I'm gonna stick with my heavier weight. We go in eight seconds. And then we got one more core exercise and circuit one is done. I am gonna kill that mosquito. Here we go. We're not cheating this time. We're just actually curling up and down. My palms are facing each other. This is a hammer curl. Up and down. I really hope I'm able to catch that mosquito in a second here. I don't know if you guys know this, but I hate mosquitoes and they love me and they love this room. 15 seconds. Just don't forget to breathe. Distract yourself. 10, my biceps feel like they're gonna fall off. Five, got time for one more. Two. Cool, let's come all the way down. We're gonna do a bicycle crunch. So we're gonna crunch opposite elbow, excuse me, spider, to opposite knee. We go in 10. So get ready. In three, two, one. Crunch the head, the neck, the shoulders off the mat and switch. Stay lifted. You can point those toes. You can flex those feet. You can do a little of both. Just whatever feels good today. Be sure you're pulling those abs in nice and tight. We got about 20 seconds. 15, 
pull them in belly button to your spine 10 I've got just my fingertips back and behind here and rest all right my friends new circuit we're doing triceps good news guys I, I killed the mosquito so here we are okay we're gonna do triceps we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension I'm going to I'm gonna stick with this weight I'm gonna take one dumbbell put it back in behind my head I'm actually gonna come down to my knees because I'm able to control the arch in my back a little better here so I'm gonna tuck that pelvis engage the abs um, put this sucker up, up over my head and I'm gonna extend from here here we go so you can use two dumbbells for this you can use one dumbbell back and behind the head whatever works for you guys just keep that pelvis tucked 30 seconds I am so glad I got the mosquito it was like all up in the camera it was so funny 20 seconds but I was not gonna refilm because my biceps are exhausted 15 seconds you guys know my little mosquito action 10 triceps on fire almost done five three two rest we're coming all the way down we are going to do a skull crusher so lighten your load we're going to lay down on the ground we're going to bring the weights just over our face here and there goes the ponytail problem again and then we're just going to hinge the elbow slide the weights down by our ears so here and up you're using the back of the arms to power those weights back up I'm not moving from the shoulder joint at all it's all coming from the triceps by hinging at the elbow oh my gosh I'm gonna have to drop my weight in a second every time I do skull crushers my triceps are literally destroyed 10 seconds come on six Oh, you guys see that shake? That is legit. Stay down, we're doing some core. We're gonna do a Russian twist. So grab a weight if you want, I think I will. And we're just gonna twist from side to side. Harder version, lift the feet up off the floor. I'm gonna stick with my heels down and add more rotation and some weight here. So just going side to side. Pull the abs in nice and tight so they can protect your back here. 30 seconds left. Suck it in, guys. We are just about halfway and my abs are on fire. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Nice, slow and control. This is not about moving fast. This is not a hit cardio workout. We are strength training, cool. We're gonna do a kickback. If you want, we're gonna do it with one arm. If you want, you can stay down here and do it from uh, your hands and knees. I think that's what I'm gonna do. We go in five, two, up. Here we go. Kick it back. Try not to arch that back. Stay nice and strong. We're doing just one side. We'll do the other right after this. My triceps are gonna be sore tomorrow. I can tell you that already. 15. Oh my gosh. 10. I haven't done an upper body strength workout like this in a while. Two. Yes. All right, we're going to do the other side. So get ready. Shake it out. My gosh. Decramp. Decramp the triceps. We go in five, three. Here we go. Kick back. Oh, 
it's like it's already sore. It's the skull crushers every time. 30 seconds. And then we got some abs. You are just about halfway here. Fifteen. How's it going, guys? Ten. Make sure you're not flinging that weight like I'm having to do almost. <laughs> Rest. All right, you can set your dumbbells aside. We're gonna do a leg extension or a knee tuck, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna bring my hands back in behind here. I will shoot them out and bring them back in. In three, here we go. Shoot them out and back in. Out, back in. Try to get yourself flat, right? You can do this without putting your hands back and behind. More power to you. Just do the best you can for as long as you can. Now, if you're doing it here with legs in front and you wanna make it even harder, go ahead and bring those arms back and behind and then reach forward. Back and reach forward. Feel those lower abdominals really working here. Almost done. And rest. Nice job, you guys. Moving on, we're doing chest. All right, so we're doing chest. We're gonna start with a chest fly. So you're gonna want a little bit of a lighter dumbbell for this one, um, no more than 15 pounds. And what we're gonna do is let those dumbbells drop out to the sides. In three, here we go. Drop out and in. I only have a slight bend in my elbow here. I'm really focusing on using my chest to pull the dumbbells back together. Yes, there's shoulder stabilization work going on, but focus on using your chest. Mind-body connection, right? Squeeze. We're almost done, guys. Squeeze it together and rest. Good, we're gonna flip it over. Set those weights aside. We're gonna do a push-up. I want you to try to do a full push-up as long as you can. So we'll bring those hands about as wide as your uh, mat, if you're on a mat, like your pinky and ring finger should be hanging off the sides. Here we go. We're up, we'll drop down and up. So tucking that pelvis, squeezing the abs up and down. Now let's say you can't quite get yourself back up. So let's go full push up to get down. Then you can drop the knees to push back up. That's a great modification. Down, drop, push back up. Down, drop the knees, push it back up. Or you can just stay here from the knees and push up here. There's always a way to modify, guys. In three, rest. All right, we're gonna do some abs. So I'm gonna flip it over. If you need to put something under your feet for this one, you can, but otherwise, all I'm gonna do is roll up and roll down, pulling my abs in the entire time. Here we go, roll up, reach, roll down, roll up, reach, roll down. Pull those abs in as tight as you can. Rolling up. So let's say you can't get up at all. You can just stay right here, getting up as far as you can uh, get yourself. And eventually you'll have that core strength to pull you all the way up. Try not to use momentum from your arms, right? You'll see a lot of people go like this and their arms fling them up and your abs aren't doing anything. So just control. Beautiful, okay, we're doing a chest press. So I'm gonna go way up. We're gonna do a regular old chest press. 
So I'm going up in weight, about 20 pounds in each hand, and we'll press it up. Here we go. Down and press it up. Controlling every single bit of this exercise here. Don't let those dumbbells smash together at the top. Control every second, right? Down and up. Oh, I got some serious arm shake going. Push, almost done. Rest. All right, all you need is one dumbbell for the next one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my light one and I'm gonna push it together. I'm gonna squeeze it together as hard as I can. And I'm gonna chest press there, nice and narrow. So I'm gonna squeeze it together. So my chest is now activated. Push up and down. Push that dumbbell together. Up and down. So you're really trying to squeeze your chest. Oh my gosh, whose idea was this? Squeeze, push, and pull it back down. Control, control, control. Up and down. What's our ab? Oh, I see. Squeeze, oh my gosh. Press it up. Whose chest and shoulders are just about to fall off? Three, two, oh wow. Okay, we're gonna do a little crunch with a reach here, which means we're gonna be holding our crunch for a second. So I'm gonna bring the fingertips back and behind the head. I'm gonna crunch up. I'm gonna reach, bring it back, and lower it down. We go in three. Here we go. Crunch up, squeeze, reach, bring it back, and down again. Crunch. Make sure you're breathing. Keep your elbows out of your field of vision. So you shouldn't be able to see your elbows. I want your chest open and your neck isn't crunching in. Oh my abs, guys. Crunch, reach, back and down. We are almost done. We got about five seconds. Oh, the abs, a little fiery. Finish the rip, good. All right, we are moving into our last circuit. We are doing some back. All right, guys, we're coming up nice and slow. We're gonna grab some lighter weight for this next one. We are doing a reverse fly. So we're gonna be working the upper back and the back of the shoulders. So what we're gonna do is hinge at the hips, keep our back nice and flat, um, core engaged, and we will fly those arms out to the sides. I'm gonna bring my palms, my palms, my palms to face each other here. Right here, fly. Keep those shoulder blades in your back pockets. Don't fling the weights up there. Really just try to squeeze those shoulder blades together. I'm going nice and light here. I think it's only about five pounds. 20 more seconds, that means you're halfway. 15. No popping or grinding in those shoulders. If you are, reset the shoulders. Make sure they're not out of uh, position. Two, rest. Now we can bump up our weight a little heavier and we move into a bent over row. I'm gonna go pretty heavy here because I know we only have to do one set. So we hinge the hips and we're gonna slide those weights alongside the body, bend over in three, here we go, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze, oh this is heavy, we've got about 20 pounds in each hand here, 
Make sure you're squeezing those glutes to protect your back. 15. How's that back? We got five seconds left. Three. Yes. Set the weights down. Come all the way down. We are going to do a heel tap crunch, which means we're going to get in ourselves into a crunch position and then we're just going to slide to tap each heel. We go in three. Here we go. Up, slide. Now what happens here? Some of you are going to start to feel this in your neck, right? So if you, even if you're focusing on not straining your neck, you might start to feel it there. If that's the case, just bring one hand back and behind. I like to stick my fingertips into like the base of my skull, give myself a little massage, and then you can switch every 10 seconds or so. Just don't crunch it in here. We're sliding and tapping. Almost done. Pull the abs in nice and tight. Rest. All right, we are going for a pullover. I'm gonna take one dumbbell and I'm gonna lay on my back and I will let that dumbbell fall back and behind. So similar to that skull crusher, except this time we're moving from the shoulders, not the elbow. So squeeze that core, drop back, pull up. So you're using your lats for this one, they're part of your back. So that long muscle along your side of your back here, near your armpit area. You've got 20 seconds, we're halfway. Keep those abs engaged. They are protecting your lower back here as that dumbbell falls back and behind. 10 seconds. Five. Ooh, I'm feeling that. Rest, oh, all the way up. Now we're gonna go for a wide bent over row. So I'm gonna drop it down. We're coming back up, hinging at those hips, and we're gonna row wide this time. We're almost done, guys. I love quick upper body workouts like this. Here we go, wide. We have one exercise after this, and you are done with your workout. This is the way I love doing upper body. It is quick, effective, 20 seconds. What I normally do after this would be some kind of cardio, like usually boxing, kickboxing, just have some, having some fun with no real uh, fitness purpose in mind, just just to let out some aggression. Last three, two. Rest, we're coming down for abs. So get the dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna do a rolling oblique crunch. So what I'm gonna do is let my knees fall off to one side. I'll crunch it here, roll the legs to the other side, and then crunch again. So I crunch up, roll down, Crunch, roll, down. <sighs> Stay crunched without pulling the head towards your body here. So you're trying to push that chin up to the sky. Feel those abs shift and move when you move your legs from one side to the other. Oh my, I was already sore in my abs. So this is just the icing on the cake here. We're almost done with this whole workout, my friends. Yes! All right, hang here for just a sec. You don't have to get up and go anywhere. Why don't we go ahead and bring it up onto those knees here. Take the fingers, interlace them back and behind, and then just arch the back in a nice stretch through that chest without, you know, putting too much strain. 
on the lower back here. If you feel nice and good here, you can grab the ankles and open further. Stretching through the chest. See what happens if you kind of move your gaze around. Can you deepen the stretch anywhere? Good, now I'm gonna stretch the opposite. Bring one arm across, stretch here. That was awesome. That was so quick and fun and effective. Switching arms. Oh, I'm tight though. I am tight now. All right, go ahead and switch. We're gonna go triceps. So up and over. Stretching the back of that arm, that tricep, and breathing here. And switch. Beautiful work, you guys. That's it for today. Make sure you like this video, hit subscribe. I love you, and I will see you next time.